Well, those are your latest headlines. Hello and welcome to France Fan Cats. I'm Louise Hanna. A country up in the air. The front page of daily Greek newspaper Emirasia this morning. It's after Sunday's talks hosted by the president with the main political leaders failed to produce a coalition government. Well, it's the latest knockback after party heads themselves tried and failed three times. The president has called a second meeting this evening, but head of the far-left party Syriza is refusing point-blank to go, saying he could never form part of a pro bailout government. Now, the worst showing in the state since World War II. The performance of German Chancellor Angela Merkel's Christian Democratic Union Party in the North Rhine-Westphalia state on Sunday. Voters were choosing a regional parliament and the result is seen as particularly important as the state represents a fifth of the country's people. And it's also seen as a hint of things to come in the federal elections. As the conflict in Syria continues, there are signs the tensions seeping over the border into Lebanon. Three people have been killed in the northern city of Tripoli over the weekend after fighting broke out between Sunni Muslims opposed to Syria's President Bashar al-Assad and his Alawite backers. We've just been told as well that 23 Syrian soldiers have been killed in clashes in Rastan in the north of the country. That's according to the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. We will, of course, bring you more on that as we get it. Fifteen people have been killed after a plane crashed into the Himalayas while trying to land at an airport in northern Nepal. Algeria's ruling elite say that last week's parliamentary results are a sign the country wants stability and not change. It was speaking after the top two parties, both of which are loyal to the president, maintain their support base. And the Islamists won only 59 out of more than 450 seats. Well, unlike many of its neighbours, Algeria has resisted the Arab Spring that brought change sweeping across North Africa and the Middle East. And yet, some of the social conditions that sparked the revolution are clear to see in Algeria, as this France Van Cat report shows. And just returning to our top story and the defeat of German Chancellor's CDU party in the North Rhine-Westphalia state on Sunday, we can now talk live to Jacqueline Hennard, writer and political analyst specialising on Franco-German relations. Jacqueline, thank you for being with us. Voters turned away from the CDU in droves on Sunday. Why? Uh, Jacqueline, as we were saying earlier as well, people often see the results of this state as an indication of things to come in the federal election. So how worried should Angela Merkel be? And Jacqueline, just quickly, you said that they lost uh, the state because of a bad campaign. So it wasn't a rejection of Angela Merkel's austerity measures for you then? OK, well, thank you very much. Jacqueline Hennard there talking to us. That wraps it for this edition, but do stay tuned. We're back in 20 minutes.